My name is Emma Roach and I'm a 2023 Artist Resident at the Samuel Adel Golden Foundation for the Arts. So a lot of the themes have been around interruptions or things that take me out of the studio. Um, so this particular drawing is of the back seat of my car. I always start with a series of drawings on graph paper and I'll make lots and lots of them, kind of daily drawings of everyday things that happen in my life. Then I test colour on them. And while I'm testing the colour, I start lining out the paint with syringes or piping bags. Once the paint has dried, it's peeled off the plastic and I can use them like their wool or thread and then use the drawing as a pattern to make the image. I would have always knit when I was a kid in primary school and my mother would have always done it and her mother would have always done it. Um, so it was something quite normal. When I started 15 years ago, I was still a student, so I was using student grade materials and like every couple of stitches it would break. I've only really returned to it in the last five years and it's a very different process now, it's very different with the better materials. I think I'm still figuring it out with all of the different mediums and with different colours, you can get different results. One of the challenges is if I hang it, it will and leave it there for a long time, it will eventually stretch and break. So I started using um, rogue canvas, which each individual square is, is woven. It's kind of like an extra preventative measure that they don't sag or move, or the image doesn't move, and it's woven the whole way through the paint then. I'm really interested in framing work, or not framing work, um, more accurately. Because of the nature of my work, there's often lots of questions about conservation and longevity. And when I go to a museum myself, I get really irked by frames and light hitting off glass. So these are kind of a, a beginning of an idea, a playful idea around that. I'm thinking more and more about this idea of collaborating with the materials. So rather than me telling them what to do, they're often telling me what to do because I'm using these barriers like the syringes, the paint behaves in a painterly way. So there's kind of ways and means of making these lines really, really perfect and symmetrical and not have the blobs or the discrepancies in the line. But if they weren't there, I would lose all interest, I guess, because it's the stuffness or the painterliness that keeps me interested. They're figurative, but the materials take over and make them abstract again. My name is Haoyun Aaron Zhao. I'm a 2023 artist resident at Sam and Adele Golden Foundation for the Arts. My work is rooted in hard edge geometric abstraction. So in my paintings, I often use like stencil techniques to create that hard edge and then create transparency and gradients in them. But in this work, I wanted the experience to be more free. So I didn't do any stencils, just freehand with brush and still try to create that sense of transparency. I've been thinking a lot about this relationship between image making and, and different forms of communications, like abstract symbols, sensory experiences, verbal and nonverbal communications. Graphic languages started with these drawings of the symbols that drew inspirations from the nature and then morphed into these simplified versions that we use today, for example, in the Chinese writing. So I really see all these abstract shapes and colors I'm creating as this new form of vocabularies to communicate. So I started these um, two pieces over the weekend and they are seven by five feet. It's my first time working on this scale. I really just love that it kind of encourages a wide range of body movement, which I constantly, you know, reach and stretch and applying paint across a vast surface and step up and down the ladder, which feels like a sequence of dance to me. I take inspirations from the multicultural influences because of my experience that I've lived in both in China and the US and linguistics, um, literature, uh, nature, and um, everyday environments. I started experimenting with applying paint on plexiglass and place them right in front of the window to have them interact with the landscape behind. 
um, to create these um, gradients, hard edge shapes. I love how when you place them against the window and depending on your position, the way you're looking at it, you can go down and up. They kind of interact with the mountains and the tree behind. So to create these like multi-layered kind of sensory experiences. And these boards are uh, from our initial three-day workshop sessions with the technicians at the Golden Artist Colors. In a way, I feel like I'm still processing all these informations and knowledge, and this knowledge will help me through creative or technical blocks along the way. There are so many memorable and valuable parts from this residency. Three of us artists here, Emma, Miguel, and I, we did a collaborative piece on a huge, really long canvas that we played croquet to create these marks. Um, so that was a really fun way to collaborate and a really playful way to get to know each other and our process. My name is Miguel Arzabe and I am a 2023 artist resident at the Sam and Adele Golden Foundation for the Arts. When I make my paintings, I unstretch it, stretch another canvas, make another painting, unstretch it, take the unstretched paintings to a fabricator, and they cut them into these half-inch strips using a laser cutter. And then I would weave them together into a new composition. I call them strip paintings. They take on various forms depending on the architecture of the space that they're being shown in. And the beams are very prominent in the space. I thought this would be a good formation to reconfigure the strips once I've painted on them. And they will show the pattern or painting application that I did on any of the two-dimensional works. You kind of get a visual echo of those works through the color palette and the marks. And that's just a way to, you know, quite literally tie the space all together. And it also kind of is evocative of like a loom that you might see in Bolivia. There's a very ancient textile tradition in Bolivia where my family is from. And that's something that really influences my work and got me kind of thinking about weaving in the first place. One of the striking things about being here is that you're surrounded by this beautiful wooded environment. And this land is so inviting, especially seeing the ridge through the studio windows. And then there's a trail that can kind of take you up there. Thinking about how the fluorescent colors are very vibrant and wondering if that could be represented through sight. I use these orange shapes to sort of draw the eye to the landscape, to see it in a different way, to notice the changes that are happening, to feel like both the distance and the oneness with it. This painting is the result of the painting party that we had together, the three residents here. I really love this work. It kind of exemplifies the spirit of being in the moment not trying to control the outcome too much. When I came here, I immediately made a stained painting, something I'm pretty familiar with. I just kind of felt like I needed to break out of that a little bit. And I noticed that the other artists were also kind of experiencing that same thing. So I wanted to give all of us permission to just try new things. And so I set up a couple canvases in the corner and I just said, come on, let's just see what we can do and put some music on and really had fun with it. And, you know, I think that's something that helped myself to get into the mood of letting go of control so much, being open to the new possibilities that are offered and having access to so much material and time and space.